us have to think very seriously on some of the important dimensions which I have uh, touched upon. And uh, now I think because we are running ahead of the time, so I may request uh, Professor I. Ram Brahm, uh, Professor of Political Science from Central University, to uh, speak. It's a great disadvantage of speaking after Professor Hargopal is to, you know, first of all, set your own parameters there. Let me pick up, you know, my own perspective, that to say, as a student of political science, I wish to see budget as a reflection of politics of contemporary times now. This is, uh, this budget is also one of those which broadly reflects contemporary realities there. I, for one, feel that, you see, this is an outcome of uh, several of adjustments or accommodation politics at the national level, giving sufficient room to different pressure groups and interest groups there. To be a strict student of political science forces me to put it this way, that budget can also be stated as a document which reflects the interest articulation and interest aggregation. There. So today, if the multinational corporations and the corporate India is able to influence the budget of uh, the Indian government there, it has to be accepted as a realistic position there. Well, for one, you know, I don't have that much of uh, experience like Professor Hargopal has put in. So I look at budget more as an attempt at transforming or transferring the huge wealth that accumulated over a period of time into development there. In that perspective, I may look at this budget from the eight flagship programs that the government of India has announced. And I share broadly the view of my predecessor, very honored, respected Professor Hargopal, that you know, one of the programs which has shown up 140% increase is the National Rural Employment Guarantee Program. 100 marks to the present government that, at least you know, it has seen the need at least to see that see there is some kind of employment guarantee to the 100 days at least there. And then, then next is that is as a student of public policy, I wish to look at again on uh, once again what uh, my predecessor pointed out the National Food Security Act, about which the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, in an interview to Economic Times, said that the nitty gritty of this is being worked out because several things need to be taken into reckoning. I feel that as a student of social science, if you feel that you see. Social sector is important. It comprises of possibly looking at giving some kind of sucker to the masses who are reeling under the impact of, you know, I don't know what Professor Lingamurthy should tell us, whether it is inflation. There is absolutely inflation is shown as minus, whereas prices are, you know, hitting the sky. And this kind of a situation can, can possibly be seen only in this perspective of some kind of guarantee of employment there. Well, my friends, you know, they, it is stated by Pranab Mukherjee in his budget speech that, you see, NRGA is a magnificent success as it has created 4.47 crore households, you know, employment to these 4.47 crore households at the rate of 100 rupees a day, wage first time as I saw in this budget as entitlement. I think public policy relating to this area is now cleanly handled and handled in this perspective where if you accept democracy, democracy in the incremental paradigm <clears throat> in which public policies generally take shape, where you know they, they increase, as you can see, the success of that, encouraged the present government to increase the allocation to this. Now we have, you know, if you look at the end after this, if you look at the National Food Security Act and the entitlement by law, 25 kilos of rice or wheat at the rate of rupees 3 per kilo for the BPL families, I think, you know, as a student of social science, I welcome this kind of a move, although I don't share the optimism of the government of India in this respect that say it is difficult for us 
to control the leakages in this particular program and the kind of administrative system that is in place now because responding to the queries from different media people, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh took the stand that the administrative reforms are a far cry in this country and not much has been done in this area. So something needs to be done to tone up the administrative system there. So if you want success of successful implementation of rural, no, national rural livelihood mission, then you need to have a competent administrative system in its place there. It's, you know, I don't know whether we can visualize a situation whereby you can have a system of administration which can implement it corruption-free. I doubt very much there. Then I, I am slightly curious about Pradhan Mantri Adarsh Gram Yojana. This reminds me of what the trials that were made by Government of India in 50s about you know, the, uh, a, a scheme that preceded Panchayat Raj, wherein the whole scheme will be under the Government of India's hands there. This also shows strong centralization forces that command these, most of these programs there. When it, that means there's a lot of politics, you know, that's going to be built around this 1,000, you know, villages, the Pradhan Mantri Adarsh Gram Yojana there. Well, you know, it's definitely, this is the same government which passed the 73rd and 74th amendments, especially the 73rd, which promised moon to the Panchayatra system in this country. But I, I see a very close rival to this in the, in the, in the form of Pradhan Mantri Adarsh Gram Yojana because there is no institutional machinery worth to be named here. This is going to be imposed from above. Again, as, as a student of social science, certain concerns need to be raised here that say, by separating the gender there, the concentration seems to be on female literacy, but not on the other gender there. But then within female literacy, the focus as announced in the budget document seems to be on the minorities, SC, ST, and OBC, in order to reduce the current level of illiteracy by half there. This also needs to be uh, welcomed by most of the uh, social scientists in this country because something needs to be done about that. But I have fundamental question about the curriculum that is generally given to the, under the name of you know, the literacy here. We, we disagree with most of the items that are prepared by several state resource centers there. As it is, there is a uh, endorsement of the success of integrated child development services and student loans to weaker sections, particularly the interest subsidy part. And uh, it is estimated that about five lakh students are likely to be benefited. A particular mention is made about welfare of minorities an amount of 1740 crores is allocated to that. In fact, the Aligarh Muslim University is likely to establish two campuses, one in West Bengal, one in Kerala, and then 990 crores for multi-sectoral development there. And as I, as I see, budget is a, is a kind of a policy intention there. Much of it depends on how these schemes are going to be worked out there because the gestation period seems to be more than nine months, you know, before the next review for the uh, next review or an assessment of actual allocation needs to be taken by October or September. Then the, as far as the social safety networks are concerned, one interesting thing which appeared to me uh, is that, you say, it's an admission that is in 92% of uh, workers, you know are in the informal or unorganized sector, particularly occupation-wise, there is a mention here like weavers, fishermen, toddy tapers, leather and handloom workers, plantation labor, construction labor, etc. And a, an attempt is, including rickshaw pullers, an attempt is now being made that a kind of a safety package needs to be worked out for them, some kind of an insurance there. I think as a, again, as a student of social science, I need to welcome this because what, what, some kind of an impact is going to be there on these two. Well, I finally I come to two important aspects of the social sector. One is health, the National Rural Health Mission, with about 14,127 crores, is likely to make huge difference to the con present you know, institutional framework. Though many people say that, you see, the benefits under the National 
health mission are not reaching the masses because of huge bureaucratic uh, hurdles there i am optimistic that is i think you know some pressure from the civil society organizations might bring in some change here though i doubt very much we can have a deadline for that kind of you know 100% success of these programs there and it is proposed that more than 46 lakh bpl families in 18 states and union territories are going to be covered with that some kind of health insurance there and an amount of 350 crores is given there and finally about education and the mission for education through information communication technologies we always have some of the worries about you know the exclusive allocation to information communication technologies because most of us are not sure how this is going to be channeled to educational institutions as such because this is going to uh, lead to setting up of a separate mission, separate authority and separate bureaucracy wherein the universities like 12 now uh, national agencies which control quality, maybe the ICT also will have a national you know, form there and then it starts telling us what we should teach in universities under ICT's upgradation there. And particularly the skill development mission with 459 crores and uh, one central university in each uncovered state. Uh, I also feel that as a student of one of the central universities, I strongly feel that central universities, if they are cloned in the present shape, I don't know whether it can be, it can be done or not, but if they are organized on the lines in which the present central universities are going to go about. Well, well perhaps, you know, uh, Professor Hargopal often says that the University of Hyderabad is a self-governing university, like Manu here. Uh, the model that we have set in, it, it gives us always a con We have problems internally, but then systems of successful administrative systems can easily be replicated, provided you have strong leadership at the national level there. And about IIT, NIIT, uh, we have our own views even here that, you know, in the context of uh, the present Yashpal committee that is demanding the attention of many here, we need to see the, the policy intentions announced through the budget, whether some of these can be put, in, put into practice or not there. But one final observation about this is that is a much of the allocation of 2,000 crores to higher education seems to be going towards infrastructure there. Can we expect some kind of new faculty positions across the country because what is needed now is not hardware but software. But I, th I thank the university for giving me this opportunity and I thank the chairman. Thank you, sir.